I want to do a quick update on these steps that I built into the hill. The video has been doing really good. I can't believe it's gotten over 100,000 views. It has been six months since I built these steps. I built them in October. Now it is April. I've been out here working in the yard today. We got the fresh pine straw. These steps have been doing great. They have not settled. We had a pretty cold winter. I live in Georgia, so compared to some people, it's pretty mild, but we had a lot of freezing weather this year. We don't get a lot of frost heave. I think up in the north they get something called frost heave where the ground freezes and it'll lift up things, lift up foundations or whatever. So they have to bury things pretty deep. We don't have to deal with that here in Georgia. But this dirt, I talked about it, it's some kind of clay. I put all this dirt here to build out my driveway in another video. It is, it's terrible. It, it does not drain good. So despite the fact that this is some kind of clay and it's terrible dirt to build in, these steps are very stable and sturdy and they are doing great. This is not a high traffic area. It's pretty much right now just me when I'm working in the yard. It's just me going up and down these steps. At some point we're going to put a path down here. We'll put a path down through here. A lot of people are talking about I should have put this or put that and you know I should have driven some kind of rods or stakes through the blocks and I should have poured concrete steps and whatever. These are simple. It was like a day and a half project and I, I don't even think I put a level. Somebody commented you didn't put a level. I didn't need one. These are just some steps. Uh, they look great I think. They turned out great. The caps are still glued. I'm covered in grass. I've been working in the yard today. These caps are still glued on. Very good. You know, this is just number 57 stone, 57 gravel. I used that because I got it out of my driveway. I had it. I think in the other video I said I spent like $100 on these steps. A lot of people criticizing the way that I built them. I understand for like a commercial application, you got a lot of people going up and down them. But I mean here, whatever. These things are, they look good and they work great. We did get a lot of rain this winter. So this dirt's very soft and, and clay-like. I'm actually having some issues with my driveway because of all the rain we've had. But the steps, they have not moved. I've seen a lot of pictures of these old steps, maybe, you know, just some old steps. They might be built out of stone or railroad tie in a hill, and they're not perfect. These are not supposed to be perfect. I think that a lot of people are commenting about, I didn't do this right, I didn't even put a level or that, whatever. These are not meant to be perfect. Springtime here in Georgia. The little rose bushes are starting to bloom a little bit. We've been covered in pollen the last couple weeks. It's one of the only downsides to living in Georgia, I guess, is the pollen and the humidity. Somebody else was commenting about putting in steps and the path was going to be sloped. Okay, well, well, this yard is sloped because my house is on a basement. And eventually I'm going to have a slope path. And there, sometimes I, I, people were asking, like, how did I start these? I, I just started them. I just grabbed a shovel and picked a spot and just kind of figured it out. 
I think if you're just building some steps for your house, you don't have to overthink it. You just grab a shovel and some materials and just kind of figure it out. If I dug it too deep, which a couple of them I, I might have dug it too deep or too far back, just fill it in with some dirt or some gravel. So if you watched the other video, you've been wondering how these things are holding up. This is the six month update. So far, so good. And like I said, we've had a lot of rain and these things have not settled at all. They've not moved. I'll do another update probably around next uh, October, November at the one year mark. We'll see how these things do throughout the summer. Mm -hmm.